So there's some decks that we build to try and optimize them and make them as competitive as possible. And there's other decks that we build where we're just attempting to do a thing. And this is a deck where we're attempting to do that. So Sarkin's Unsealing here is a really sweet card that says when you cast a creature spell with power 4, 5, or 6, you deal 4 to any target. And when you cast a creature spell with power 7 or greater, you dome your opponent for 4 and their entire board. So this is sweet with Death Shadow, which is a 13-13 on the stack. Rotting Regisaur, uh, Ny Nyaxithid, and I've even got a couple of cheeky copies of Big Yargle up here. So you can just have that natural turn 4 unsealing, turn 5 Yargle blast him. Blast him with the unsealing. We've got a couple copies of Grim Tutor here that not only helps us lose life to get Death Shadow into play, but also provides us as but also provides us with extra copies of unsealing. Um, I got a couple of Ember Cleaves. We got a lot of thick chunk of monks that don't mind carrying a sword. So uh yeah, let's uh let's play some games of magic and see if we get to uh unseal some board states here a little bit, huh? Hey, Lunar Chaos Dragon, thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Let's get you a sword to go with that shield. Don't lie, the tutor is really for extra copies of Yargle. I mean, it could be. It could be. Scourge does have power on the stack. So Scourge is a star star card, which means its text box is applicable everywhere. So if the life totals are appropriate, Scourge will have power on the stack. Croxa, when you cast it for two mana, doesn't trigger the, the bottom text, but does trigger um does trigger the top line of text for two mana, which is nice. So you get to like get your Croxa and, and uh deal for something. I think we're fiving ourselves. Oh no! Oh no! Chat, I've made a terrible mistake. I've made a terrible mistake, chat. Yargle, Yargle will protect us! Yargle! Land, land. <sighs> if you feel the ground quake, run. If you hear its croak, flee. If you see its tongue, it's too late. This is how you stomp a rampaging frosted on chat. This was a waste of my time. Our lack of a fourth land tier is likely to be the death of us.
Yo, chat. Chat, they're coming for our Yargle, chat. Hide your memes, chat. Maybe I'm supposed to crux of them after they took that. Their last card must be cleave, right? Really? Gills magic, man. We kept we kept the three lander that game for reference. Injury plan around 18, 20, we're in 20, 24. It might be, it might be a couple lands light. 2024 might be a couple lands light. We're trying, we're trying to curve up to four here. We cut the thought seizes board in the We're in the spot removal. Cut the Yargles for land. You'll pull my Yargles from my cold, dead hands, okay? Stack one a couple of egg dubs. They're literally three, two copies. I'm playing two Eggdoms, two Castles. We have four, four Shatter Skull. That's true. We'll, we'll change it from Black Red Unsealing to Yargle Unsealing. Gotta clickbait the children. You are my most committed relationship to date. Thanks for the 35 months, D20 Bandit. Is it a vanilla 7-3? No. It's a vanilla 9-3. It's also legendary. You know, I was about to make a make a how I met your mother reference in respect to legendary. How old is that show at this point? Someone, someone, someone hurt me. How old is season one of How I Met Your Mother? I don't want to know the answer. Please stop. <laughs> no, don't do it. 2005. Oh, God. It can drive a car, chat. It can drive a car! Yeah, both of myself's probably wrong there. There's a good chance we discard this, huh? Look at my Nyaxithid counting up, chat. Oh no. Oh no.
They're about to cleave us with our own dino chat. They're about to cleave us with our own dino. <sighs> Well, I mean, the good news is we get the Registrar back next turn, right? And they have to discard their last card. Oh, and it still has Cleave on it, so they gotta pay to move that. So I have to block here, right? Otherwise I die. Glad we held on to the shadow and discarded the land earlier. Are you dead yet? Was double Crocs a lethal? Yes. But it was less satisfying than casting the death shadow. Would have been strictly worse from the value of the memes, chat. It's not about winning, it's about sending a message. See, you get it. You understand me. This card's kind of low-key great in this matchup, too. BT, BT dubs. Like, they, they empty their hand pretty quickly. So is their hand just like a bunch of copies of Steal My Thing? How many Cronin Wars do you think are in their hand? All of them? Super dead to cleave. Jeff, catching up with the Glandia Open, amazing stuff. Impressed what you and the team accomplished. Quite something when you compare it to the official WOTC events. Hey, good to have you, Impala. Yeah, for for reference, um, we have five people that produce the, the, the Opens, and that includes me and Jim doing commentary. About to get double frostbitten. Wow, what a brutal, what a brutal, what a brutal game. Very, very close. Not got by the exact seas, basically.
Yeah, Christie's Christie's ability to wrangle three small children and 140 not so small magic players is uh is quite the feat for sure. Yeah, Jim, Jim was great. So I mentioned earlier today, um CGB is gonna be casting the standard open with me next month on the 17th, but I've asked Jim back for the for the May event. We're gonna be doing these monthly or so. Uh, Covert Go Blue he is a, um, he doesn't have as large of a Twitch presence, but he, he does uh, YouTube content very consistently. He's one of the largest, largest magic YouTubers. Any chance of playing against me in one of these events? No, I do commentary if you haven't watched the coverage of the events before. If you're interested, interested in checking out coverage of the previous event, you can check out the Hoglandia, Hoglandia event there. It's very different than me just playing in a miscellaneous tournament, which is something I still plan to do on occasion, but very, very different experience overall. Cast Lay the Land. Alright, we need one more, two, we need these to be bricks. Oh, that gains them enough that we're not... We need a death shadow here, right? Rats, we're so close. If we drew, if we drew Death Shadow here, we'd have killed them. Yargle, Yargle, not quite able to overcome the Righteous Valkyrie here. Maybe they'll surrender to the Urgle. <laughs> All right, so Thoughtseize is actually pretty bad in these matchups. I'd much rather have cards that play to the board. I think I think Cleave's probably not quite go big enough in this matchup. Mm, Scourge of the Sky Cleaves is real bad, right? Because they're going to be gaining life. Let's do that. Big brain, thanks for the follow. Let's draw some lands here, huh? We did add a 25th land to our deck, so I'm excited to brick off and die. Nice. Hey, hey, this is the 25th land chat. I added a third Dragon Skull Summit. That, look at that power, power of, of positive deck changes. Afternoon, Jarrell. I need to do this because I need to be able to pressure their life total a little bit here. So I can't get out of, out of, out of range of unsealing again. Non-castle land. <sighs> I 
This is this is where the magic happens, chat. Yeah, we're dead. <sighs> is it really a particular matchup, Peppa Jack? Just a generic removal spell? There. Tier decks busted, chat. They knew the Yargo was coming for him. Like, one of the things, like, the question about Feed the Swarm, one of the things you need to understand about a format like Historic is that, like, a lot of the times there's too many decks in a format like this to, like, have all of your sideboard slots be for specific opposing decks. A lot of, a lot of the time, you want your cards to just be flexible to commit in a range of, against a range of things. Some teamer NRG on the other side of the board here. I mean, it's pretty, it's apparent pretty quickly that we're not a sack deck, Lugos. Like, sack decks don't play Thoughtseize, for example. My Nyaxid Thread Grow. Get, get bigger, Chet. Might be paying for to draw a card here. Possible that the mana base of these decks is why Shadows has trouble fighting a home. Can you explain explain your comment to me? Because I don't understand what your what your reasoning is there. I don't, I don't follow. I don't follow your line of thought. them this turn? It's probably right to just cleave them this turn, huh? Sure. This takes a lot of energy out of them, though, too, right? I mean, so, like, what you're doing there is a pretty typical Twitch chat thing. You're like, Jeff, your deck's having trouble with its mana after watching a bunch of games where I literally just didn't draw any lands, which I think is a very silly, silly uh, position to take. 
Like, yeah, in the, like, your your sample size is, like, a game where, like, even take this game, for example. I cast my spells plenty fine on curve this game. Like, you're literally talking about a game where I, like, only drew three lands. I literally drew all three buddy lands in my deck. So, like, rather, rather than you watching the game the couple of games that you just saw here and saying, Jeff, your mana looks bad anecdotally. Can you do the math for me? Can you tell me mathematically why you think my mana base is bad? You'd be, you'd be right that our mana is less good than fetches and shocks in, in modern, but that's just true of every deck in this format. So like for for example, my three buddy lands here have uh, ten things that bring them into play untapped, and my deck really only has four one mana spells. So like playing Dragon Skull Summit tapped on one into untapped land on two is fine if my hand is Dragon Skull Summit Pathway. Sure, but but generically you have plenty of untapped lands, really. Generic, generic, like even a hand like this, right? Like I can go tap land and untap land or tap land, tap land here just fine. It also might just be right to mulligan this hand that only has two plays in it or two lands in it. I mean, we literally have bolt land in a thought seize for the turn one five life, so that's just not true. Couldn't, couldn't agree more with Lucos. Too, too often, Magic players are like, well, Jeff, this deck isn't everywhere, so that means it's not playable. And that's just not how non-rotating formats work, right? Like, remember, even even the Jun, the Jun Sack deck in really competitive events like Star City Games events, like those, those uh, events only have that deck like tippy top 20 percent a lot of the scg qualifiers this weekend you know that that archetype was you know 15 or 10 percent or less i mean i like when people comment on my mana base and they give constructive feedback based on analytics what I don't like is when someone watches a game and a half of my deck and tries to make a conclusion based on a game and a half of anecdotal evidence because they're lazy. Like, I'm human, I'm far from perfect, but like, don't suggest that my deck is a problem based on watching half a game. Break out, break out the Hyper Geo and tell me why what we're doing is wrong or not sufficient. I've watched a game and a half of this deck and I've concluded we're playing Pokemon. <laughs> Someone asked why they were playing World Tree earlier. They're a Golos deck apparently. Using Death Shadow as a kill your Golos deal some damage here. How to meet sure? Oh, yikes. Yikes. Spin to win. Well, shit. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. 
Magic is nothing like gambling, chat. It's a low variance, high skill endeavor. Embrace it. <laughs> Spin to win. Spin to win. Spin to win. Great, untapped, untapped land here. Hey, right, one brick, please, opponent. The scary part here is if they draw a chump blocker, um, it gives them the sixth energy to marvel this turn. Okay, sick. You love you love to see it. Think this is a duress matchup. I guess it hits ultimatum and it hits Marvel and it hits Ugin. Maybe it is a duress matchup. Thanks for the follow, Fidel. Good afternoon. Yeah, Delirium will, will come to Historic eventually. Guaranteed. Alia, good afternoon. Kill this. I feel like I do. My cat has learned she can stand on my computer case to make the case fans unbalanced and make a weird sound. Yikes. I think our Yargle loses to Ugin Chat. I don't know what an NFT is, and I feel like my life's probably better off not knowing what an NFT is. Any ideas on when for Simic Snow? Whenever you want, Logan. You can be up first thing tomorrow or any other any other day this week. Oh, it has to do with cryptocurrency. <laughs> Ah, cryptocurrency. It 
It's a tech bro pyramid scheme. That sounds accurate. Comparing crypto to a pyramid scheme is like oddly accurate, isn't it? Oddly accurate, appropriately accurate? Coming for our memes, chat. Okay, well. Ooh, baby a triple. Sometimes the line chooses itself. Yep, exactly. Like. Easy, easy peasy, chat. I think I just like doing this, just like removal in for thought sees out against these uh, kind of aggressively sent decks. Oberdin. It was a neat game. It's a neat, neat storytelling tool, but I don't think it's it's not something I'm gonna be playing again on stream. I don't think it makes very good stream content. What time am I thinking about doing Mythgard? Uh probably half hour to 45 minutes, Grindle. I feel like it's probably optimal to get Death Shadow, but I'd also like to say I Grim Tutored for Yargle before this stream is done today, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him. Don't let, don't let your memes be dreams, chat.
and banished. Buddy, that's what I do. Watch them disenchant or unsealing here like some kind of bully. Don't sky cleave apparition me, have a heart. That's true! Assassin, uh, what's it called? Would have gotten. Oh, my Yargle got thought seized, chat! Oh, no! Hide your memes, chat! They're coming for the Yargles! Okay, wait. So if I... So if I cast this and I hit them, this one is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, trigger. Getcha. Your move, Yugi boy. Vengeance for Yargle! I wish you said your goodbyes already. Vengeance for Yargle! We'll have, we'll have vengeance for Yargle, Chet. Yargle sends his regards. <laughs> mm. Let's not make let's not make light of important social issues, AGH, in relation to card games. Do you think that was both the first time Yargle has been crim tutored for and Yargle has been thought seized in the history of Magic Chat? I feel, I feel like there's a strong possibility that both of those were first. That was not, not quoting Angrath. Angrath says no fire, no steel. No justice, no peace is um, a quote that's related to the Black Lives Matters protest that went on after George Floyd was murdered by police. And all the other atrocities that have happened in the United States regarding our, our awful policing system. Just holding on to the lands here. Well, shoot. Yeah, the opponent's doing uh, Genesis Ultimatum things almost assuredly. Oh, this attack was bad. I should have I should have Shatter Skulled them there, right? 
Yeah, I should have. I should have shatter scald them there. And hit them. Hit them for seven. So they get to Risen Reef Pier and then Leaf Kindred. <laughs> I'm in danger. If we if we could find a wait, well they just tap super wrong here, right? I think we're dead now. Needed a, uh, needed unsealing that turn, right? Your move, Yugi boy. If I draw a seven plus power thing, we win here, right? Because we clear their board. Damn it. We would not only clear their board, but the Registrar would kill the Ugin. Couldn't top deck a Yargle when we needed one, chat. See, needed to, needed the top deck Yargle there at the end. This grind effect's probably not very good. Oh. I should probably bring in Witch's Vengeance, right? It clears their elementals and it clears Scut Swarms after the fact. Oh, and they were actually at 11. Yeah, so any, any seven plus power thing would have been lethal there. It's just a better card. I actually don't think it's a better card. I actually looked at looked at the Clackbridge troll and giving them a bunch of one ones. Uh, oh ones isn't great because you you get the the Sarkin trigger happens and then your thing enters play and gives them one ones for for reference. Yeah, Antoine's game was much closer than it looked. Uh, agree. Whatever the stat line is on the stupid goats. This card, this card's actually been a lot less, less bad than I was expecting it to be. Got them to six, six, and seven, seven, fairly, fairly consistently. Oh yeah, it gains you life so it can kill your shadows. Is also not a good look. They don't even. They don't even know chat. I don't even know that Yargle's coming for him. Yargle. Yargle sends his regards. Look at that. That big thri throbbing text box chat. You ever seen a text box that big and empty before? Bet you have it.
Yargle doesn't get his hands dirty, chat. We're gonna kill him with the unsealing. Yargle. Yargle doesn't Yargle doesn't touch the peasants. He's too he's too pure for that. The text box is so empty, it really, and it's almost, it's like off-putting how empty the text box is. I'd like the record to reflect we've won every game in which we've untapped with Yargle chat, okay? We've also, we've also won every single game in which we've grim tutored for Yargle. Now we got a bunch of big things, Wargi. We've got Registor, we've got Death Shadow, we've got Nyaxithid, we've got a ton of seven plus power things. You misclick, Jeff. That's not a Yargle. Apologies. They get immediately punished for not getting Yargle. <laughs> I knew, I knew he was coming, chat. Yargle's, Yargle's always there when you need him, chat. Chat, thinking that Yargle wouldn't show up for us. Yargle always performs, chat. He ain't scared. Yargle sends his regards. I'm enjoying watching this Yargle shell about someone time gave this powerful card the build around he deserves. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Unseal, unseal the Yargle chat. Thought season to Croxa and to uh, Nyaxithid's actually pretty okay. We just need to draw a black source here. Unsealing is a genuinely powerful card. The Yargle fans out there, muffle your, put your hands over your ears for a second. Um, there is a small chance that this deck is better if you don't play Yargle in it. But, you know, we're going to play Yargle today, okay? The <laughs> he blasphemies! Blasphema! The Meyer Triton here, because that's a Death Toucher that can block my Nyaxithid. Ah, 
hostage taker. They're coming for our Yargles chat. Find your beams. I mean, the non Yargle variants like very similar, Wargy. You just like cut Yargles and like play other things. Like good cards, yeah, like good cards. Probably like a couple of removal spells, maybe another Grim Tutor. Yeah, I think I take this as a run back, Wargy. I probably wouldn't get to it till later this week, though. I, I try to not do the same deck two, two or three days in a row. But yeah, I take a, I take a run back for more, more unsealing. Like I said, I think this, I think this card's like genuinely powerful. You can maybe play more Skyclaves. I don't know. This card's like only good in like the very late game. I feel like I wouldn't mind like another Grim Tutor. Honestly, another land might be right. Twenty five lands felt has felt maybe one, one light. Crocs is probably pretty bad against their deck that wants to put things in the discard pile. A couple of Blood Chiefs thirsts. I'd say Thoughtseize is among the best cards in Historic. And a few games ago, our opponent Thoughtseize to Yargle. Therefore, by the transitive property, Yargle is among the best cards in Historic. I mean, that's, that just sounds like good math to me. So as someone with a degree in mathematics, uh, that, that sounds like an appropriate use of the transitive property. Yeah, Night Switcher would be great. Actually, you know what card I really wanted in this deck, Pike, that's not legal yet that we'll get? Uh, Read, Read the Bones is probably a playable magic card in this format. And Night Switcher is a little bit more powerful, but we'll, get, we'll be getting Read the Bones eventually. I cast that card a ton when it was standard legal. Yeah, Scry 2, draw 2, lose 2 life for 3 mana. Read the Bones is not in this format. It's not, right? Read the Bones. Is Read the Bones already Pioneer Legal? Yeah, we could try a Jun variation, Wargy. I think that could be fine. Like, Land War Elves is pretty good. Ruinous is also a decent threat. Why don't we play out the 2-2 two, two Scourge of Skyclaves? Because of that. Because of Meyer Triton. I was about to say because I'm bad and dumb, but then they played a Meyer Triton, so. Ha! Joke's on you. <laughs> Reed is pioneer legal. I don't think it's I don't think it's in historic currently though. Is it? Is that card uh, that card exist on Magic Arena? All right, we're going to get Ulamog next turn, chat. I think we're dead to Ulamog, huh? It's not according to Scryfall. Yeah, Scryfall doesn't make mistakes. Yargle can take Ulamog in a fight. <laughs>
Yargul. Yargul has found his match, chat. He is no match. He is no match for the Eldrazi Titan. We've been, we've been out memed. We had one Eldrazi. I mean, to be fair, we had a chance to beat the one Ulamog. And eight cards left in my deck. We could have, we could eventually set up another blocker and then set up Cleave. It took two Ulamogs to beat Yargul. You'll never take me one on one. Two Lamog was a problem. But dumb. This feeds this. They're probably gonna kill something anyways, though. Archmage, thanks for the four months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I don't really have a better a better play here, though. All right. Thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Is this actually going to turn into a 6 6 after this trigger results? Great. Are they almost dead? Discarding Yargul is high treason. Sorry, I don't have five lands, chat. There are several draw two, lose two cards in the store. Right? Yeah, but they're not mono black, right? There's one. It's it doesn't it doesn't scry to though, right? Yeah, that card that card's much worse than read the bones. If you think that card's comparable to read the bones, you don't understand how good read the bones is. He's half as many cards. It's 50 50 percent less cards, and it costs. It sees 50 percent less cards than read the bones, and it sees it costs 50 percent more mana than the other card we talked about, Knight's Whisperer. It's so like pretty, pretty important differentials there. Oh, they're probably a, they're probably a, what's it called deck? The, uh, I'm blanking on it. The four man enchantment deck. Enigmatic incarnation. Yeah, that's the one.
the the scry two and the costing less mana they look like little things at the surface but they they really really very important i don't know what demonic lord does before you suggest a card you should probably find out if it's legal <laughs> What's that? That's a pretty peak Twitch chat. Is this card that I'm not sure if it's legal worth considering? I don't know. Let's find out if it's legal before we decide if it's worth considering. Why did we shock ourselves? Why did we shock ourselves, chat? We're going to cantrip. We drew an omen. Growth Spiral's really bad for us because it means they can Binding next turn. Fuck. Joke's on you, that enables my Death Shadow. Mm. Bips and chains excite me, opponent. Oh, yeah. Just what I like. Just what I like. They drew a land. Don't be green. Don't be green. Yikes. Yikes. We're dead to ink sketch yet. Three on the play, huh? Well, I mean, at this point, Vit, if you're someone who's conservative with their wild cards, you probably just shouldn't be crafting anything, and you should probably be waiting until until the next set drops and storing some wild cards up. If you're not someone that slams your wallet into these types of problems. Never craft anything, just hoard wild cards. The big brain advice right there. Slamming your wallet into the problem is the is the big brain play. Better than missing. Not great, but better than missing.
weird. It's a frustratingly good draw. Is it? And time walks me. I can't play anything out while they have the Yorian in hand because they just get to kill it. Am I spoiling a card? No. Didn't see a door, so I let definitely, definitely a fever dream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb, and this might be a bit of a stretch, so read me in if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and think that Wizards probably likes me even left, less after I took a four month break from promoting their products to promote a direct competitor's product. So I would, I would assume whatever small amount of love could have been there potentially was definitely firmly stomped out when we did that. I don't, I don't need them. You're not wrong. This is, this is my full-time job without them and we'll be, we'll be just fine. Because people like Silas Goodbottom. And I say thanks for keeping me employed, chat. That's just me being honest. I wouldn't be here without all of y'all. Maybe I was supposed to do that before I, before I played the duress to make my Death Shadows 1-1 one, one bigger. Yeah, I should castle first because it beats Clarion. Thanks for the sub gift, Golgali. That did not need the cleave. I didn't want to like play the cleave out if they had a spot removal spell. They just like spot remove the thing we put the cleave on and if I wait and they spot remove to not die, I then kill them. Kill them with the cleave. Although maybe that didn't matter because of Nyaxithid and their hand getting one smaller. Probably not. To be fair, subscribing to my channel is kind of like the opposite of paying protection money from the mods because if you don't sub, you can't post in chat to begin with and then the mods can't really time you out. We're probably holding this for post unsealing, huh? You underestimate my power. Quickly, mods, find people who aren't subs and tie them out anyways. I sub to get timed out. That's fair, and I aim to please Golgali. <laughs> oh, Glandia. This is a silly place. Um, probably don't need double red. Might want to draw with this castle. Hey, hey, ho flock, thanks for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for keeping me around. So, we get to kill their board next turn. 
I need to draw some cards, but then we have a giant, giant fatty monster. I think we're supposed to do this, right? Am I supposed to unsealing? It's gonna be a four, four, or five, five. So like I miss out on an attack, but I, I'll get an extra trigger with this. Well, I mean like, it might honestly just be right to wait to do this, right? Cause like, I'm gonna, de I kinda deny them an Emery usage next turn by doing this, but if they draw a land, they're probably not gonna use Emery anyways. I've never been timed out before, and I feel as though if I do, it'll be the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I have read it open just in case. <laughs> oh, God, God bless you, Hoaglandia. You're great. All right, well, it's definitely right to do it now because they have a Paradox Engine up there. I don't think I can die from this position, but their deck's weird, so maybe. Cage is good here. Um, Blood Chief's Thirst. Blood Chief's Thirst is probably, probably good, decent here, right? Like killing Kinian is good, and you can kick this to kill, what's it called? The Emery's? Bone Daddy, obviously great. Honestly, I'm not sure Cleave is actually good in this deck. Need the Swarm sounds lovely. Was great. I think Grasp is too narrow. I think I'd rather have Thirst and uh, Feed the Swarm. Hey, thanks for the quarter of a year, Quan. Welcome back. I don't think I could die, but they're on Paradox Engine, so who knows? Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, maybe, maybe not. Classic's fine. Oh, no, none of our none of our namesake cards, but like pretty decent magic cards overall. Ooh, the perfect draw chat. Honestly, I think we just take the cold steel heart because I want to step on Emery next turn. Oh, I should have bolted there, right? Because if I draw another bolt land, I can play Shadow next turn. Our opponent's lukewarm memes have nothing on our super hot fire Yargol. It's true. It's very true. Come on, Arena. So, like, all, all things considered, um, this deck actually felt super reasonable. Um... Things that I would consider from a strict optimization standpoint, trying to make specifically unsealing as competitive as possible. Ember Cleave actually felt pretty lackluster, especially considering how awkward this card can be with Rotting Registrar chewing away the resources in your hand. So I think, I think I'd get rid of this. Um, I included it in here because this is a funny card that I know a lot of people like, but I think if you're working from a strict optimization standpoint, you probably give up on the Yargles. Um, what would I, what would I fill in here in the strict, strict competitive sense if we were looking, if we were looking to fill in some other cards here? Um, I think a second Grim Tutor is probably fine. Having more ways to find this or Death Shadow felt pretty reasonable on occasion. Scourge was pretty reasonable, pretty consistently. I think I'd go up a copy a copy of that potentially. Um, you can also just add more removal spells. I, I, 
think I want one more land. It's also possible, though, that cutting the five drops at the top of our curve means we don't need the lands, though. I think there's a very real chance that that's a possibility. We can fit either a couple of Blood Chiefs, Thirst, or Feed the Swarms into the main deck now. I think is probably probably what I do. I think I think I'd probably start here if I was looking at this from the strictly let's try and make it competitive from this sense. Yeah, I think I think another direction you could try is um, the people. The core of this deck actually came out of the subscriber Discord server, and if you're a sub or a supporter and you're not in there. You should pop on in. There's a great, great people talking about a lot of decks. A lot of the things that I'm putting up for deck voting are coming out, coming out of there. So I'm poking in. I'm very active in the subs Discord server. So I'm looking for ideas and giving people thoughts on there. Yeah, something like the fling land could be okay if you want, if you want some extra lands. Um, yeah, actually, I don't, I don't hate that. That's probably worth testing. Demonic, demonic Embrace is probably, probably worth giving a try. Like, this paying life can be useful. Like, you can curve Regisaur into uh, Demonic Embrace very elegantly. So, the problem with Terror of the Peaks is, one, it's expensive, and two, it doesn't really kind of cheat like Death Shadow cheats with, uh, with Sarkins and Ceiling. Yeah, I can see, I can see Demonic Embrace being a good inclusion, too. Does not, does not seem unreasonable. All right, any rate, that's going to wrap on Magic for me for today. Uh, the two decks we played before this today were actually excellent as well. We played uh, Mono Black uh, Artifact Ramp in Historic, and we played Blue Red Giants in Standard. And those will all be up on my YouTube channel later tonight. For the remainder of the stream today, we're going to be poking at some more Myth Guard. We're going to load up something new that we haven't played in that game yet before, so I'm going to go ahead and get that loaded here. <laughs> 